Hi, my name is Mel Colley from MelColleyPilates.com. Thank you for joining me today. Just going to do a little demonstration of a move that we do in Pilates, which is a core strength move, but also focus on stabilising the pelvis and the shoulders. And it's called lots of different things. In Pilates, I think it's called, um, we can call it swimming in the box position. It's also called Superman. Um, it's also called flying table. So whatever you know it by, you probably have practiced it before. So just to help you practice it in a way where you can actually feel the muscles working and without losing any strength in your shoulders or in the core area. Okay, so on your hands and knees, shoulders above the wrists and hips above the knees. So often I see the knees further away or I see the arms further away and it just loses that position. So think about 90 degree angle, knees are hip bone distance, hands on the floor but stretch out the fingers and feel every single part of your hands, every single um, inch or millimetre of skin is touching the floor. Um, so the fingers aren't like they're on a computer mouse. So lengthen them away and press the floor away with the hands. And as soon as you do that, the body feels as if it's lifting up to the ceiling, pushing between the arms. The knees, the shins, the fronts of the feet are equal right and left. So many times we have an imbalance and we lean over to one side without thinking about it. So thinking about the front of the legs being equal on each side and then push the floor away with the shins and the knees. Now think of the back edges of the armpits coming forward towards the floor. So we're not going to end up sinking down between the armpits and then otherwise the shoulder blade starts to lift off the ribs. So we're trying to activate and strengthen the serratus anterior muscle which wraps around us here onto the ribs and really helps to keep the um, shoulders stable. So the back edges of the armpits come forward and we can already, when you think of that, you feel that movement. Can you see the difference in the posture as soon as I start to think about what my arms are doing, the armpits there, bringing them forward. And then the abdominals, thinking about the hip bones drawing towards each other. So the body isn't in an overly arched position or tucked under, keeping the length of the spine, abdominals pulling in towards each other from the hip bones and up towards the ribs. And take one arm out in front and float it off the floor. Now if you're just working on the shoulders, we can work with something that we use called inner range holds, which really helps to work the shoulders and strengthen the shoulders. Holding it up here for about 10 seconds and slowly Coming down to the floor for 10 seconds and changing sides, lengthening. Trying not to drop the head and again watching what's going on with the rest of the body, thinking of the back edges of those armpits coming forward towards the floor. Three times on each side. The ribs stay down towards the hips. Pushing the floor away with the other hand, trying not to drop into that side. And then you can start to go onto the legs, reaching long and floating. Pushing the floor away with the arms, thinking about those armpits, the back edges again coming forward so we're not dropping. Reaching long with the leg from the hip bone, sliding it back in, other side floating. Three times on each side. And then when you're feeling like you can go even further, arm and leg, take them away and float them off the floor, reaching for the wall in front of you, reaching for the wall behind you, pushing the floor away with the hand and with the knee, the shin and the foot. So you've got so many different things going on here. You're lengthening and pulling and you're pushing away. Slowly coming back down, changing sides. So holding anything up to about 10 breaths is what we're aiming for. And maintaining that position. Taking it further into a challenge, we can start to add movement. Taking the hand down to the floor, bringing the knee in, touch the knee, take the arm and the leg back. 
Nothing changes with the form at all. You're still pushing the floor away, still lengthening through the spine. Back edges of the armpit still coming round towards the floor, keeping that serratus engaged. And we can change sides. Just being mindful that one side will feel completely different to the other. You might feel a little bit more wobbly on one side. That's how you can make the Pilates swimming, four point kneeling, or the Superman position a little bit more challenging. Adding that movement, but always focusing on working the correct muscles and not sinking back into the body's adaptions. So we're just trying to strengthen the weaker muscles and stretch the, the, uh, the tighter muscles. Okay, thanks for watching me. My name is Mel Colley from melcolleypilates.com and I hope you enjoyed practicing. Take care.